Hello everybody, this is Lodge, and today I'm going to be going through my thoughts about what we saw of Halo Infinite at last week's E3. After a week that the hype of E3 set in, I want to talk about what I think of the two trailers and the information that we learned. And if after the video you want to hear more about my thoughts, you can check out these videos I did on Halo Infinite for this as well. First, I want to talk about the campaign from the trailer. I think it could be really interesting character-wise. I mean, just from this one scene with Master Chief and the weapon. Cortana 2. Cortuna? It seems like a continuation of Halo 4's story arc for Master Chief, and having to move on from the original AI that he had for so many years. I think it'd be interesting from a character arc standpoint. Also, the thing I kinda dislike from this trailer that we learned is that the Cortana from Halo 5 just seems to be gone. And while it could probably be a mystery throughout the whole game of trying to figure out what happened to her, which I kinda went over in my analysis in this video, I just think it's kind of disappointing, since it could happen off screen and we would only hear about it. And I just think games kind of like retconning certain stuff or like not exactly continuing from where the last game went on is kind of weak story wise, even if though a lot of people didn't necessarily like it. I think they could have turned it around and overall made it a better character wise or character or story thing. I don't know. But otherwise, I think that this game could be really good story wise despite all the problems I could have with it. I am surprised we did not see any gameplay from this campaign trailer though. I guess the multiplayer is where they wanted to show off all the new gameplay, but it would have been nice to see a little from the campaign to really show how much was improved from July's somewhat poor showing. Anyway, onto the multiplayer trailer. I thought it was really cool. It finally showed what multiplayer is going to be like after all these years, and it looks pretty fun. Lots of cool customization, and the new sandbox editions looks like they'll add a lot to the game. I'm kind of disappointed that we will seemingly not see the red versus blue colors come back, though having your actual Spartan be there in all their colors is honestly kind of cool. Also having your own AI sounds like it could be really neat if they give you a lot of options for the voices to make it seem like this AI is yours. And I'll say it again, I'm glad they're doing flights, but I wish they'd give a more definitive date on when they would happen other than later this summer. That can honestly mean any time from now to like the end of September based on when this season ends. I'm hoping it's earlier rather than later to make sure that the game runs smoothly on launch, but I guess we'll see. And I wish they had shown off like a Warzone type substitute for a brand new huge multiplayer mode, but I think it'll only be like a bigger big team battle from these trailers. It's kind of hard to tell, at least for me. It seems like a lot of other content creators are saying it's going to be big team battle, but bigger. But it honestly to me seems like this is the same big team battle that we've seen for the last 20 years in the series. And finally, I'm surprised that we did not get a definitive release date for the full game. All we have is Holiday 2021. And I'm like 90% sure that the game will release this year from what we've seen. But there's like a little doubt in my mind that once again, since we just have a general time coming, that it could just get delayed a few months or even a whole another year. But I honestly doubt that. And recently I saw that Phil Spencer had said that they said Holiday 2021 because they had like a few weeks of when they could release it. So like think of like it being like anywhere from like November 10th to all the way to the 30th or something like that. And I honestly think it's because they don't know exactly when other similar games are coming out like Battlefield and Call of Duty. And they don't want to make a Timefall 2 where it released in between those two big heavy hitters of shooters. But it's still kind of weird that they haven't set a date yet since Halo is seeming like it's gonna be the big game this holiday but we'll see but this is understandable if that is the real reason why they are withholding that information on the final date and yeah those are my basic thoughts on the past couple trailers we saw i have some more videos talking about those trailers more in depth if you want to watch them and yeah i really hope this will be the beginning of a whole lot of like marketing for halo infinite because the last five years we've seen practically nothing except for like I think in most, it's like five trailers in total until this year that we've even seen for Halo Infinite. And I just hope they keep doing it because this game could be big. And I hope we're not going to get like a trailer a month or something, you know. We should see like little things throughout the whole leading up to launch and hopefully the flights come soon. But yeah, and I just wanted to say thank you for everyone for checking out my past videos about Halo Infinite because those have been doing pretty well for my standards. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. And goodbye.